All right, ladies and gentlemen out there in YouTube land, it is July the 24th, 2020. I hope everybody's doing well and staying healthy. Thank God everything here is good. Knock on wood. Well, I've been thinking. Seems like I need to build an SE amplifier. Single-ended triode. So, I'll get to the point. Found this one on the schematic. I found this schematic on the internet. Let's say that right. It's basically a Williamson design. That's what it is. Except they just don't use the... Uh, they've got this uh, resistor down here bypassed. Anyway, there it is. Very simple. I like it. This is a 5U4, etc., etc. Okay. I redrew it right here in LT Spice and modeled it. I changed a couple of values. As you can see, I'll hold it steady for just a minute if, you, if you're really interested in studying it. I, I changed, uh, I think I changed this one, uh, one of them over here to 100K. No, 72K, yeah. I did a lot of modeling of it and, and running and rerunning it. Anyway, <clears throat> here's what I got as an output. I got an absolute output of uh, seven point, I can't read that, S seven point something watts. There's the uh, simulation of it. That's at uh, a kilohertz. And, uh, well, there's a the kilohertz. I thought I made a sweep of it. Well, I didn't make a sweep. I guess I just made uh, a one kilohertz output. Actually, that's pretty good on the sweep. But on this one, I printed the uh, the power. Yeah, this is just a sweet. This is just a one kilohertz uh, run of it, and and this is a a, a current. This is the current. You put your uh, cursor over here, and you hold down Alt and click on it anyway, and then you get this little box that tells you what the average power is. Okay. Seems like a good idea, huh? Transformer, power transformer. Put a 5U4 in it just for the beauty of it. I've got eight of these guys. They're different models. But I got six that's brand new, never even been opened. These two, this one right here and another one I have is a little bit, uh, I'm not too sure about them. And then, oh yeah, I don't know if I made it perfectly clear in here, but um, you see where they, yeah, this is the difference I gotta show you. See, they use an output transformer. But we're not gonna use an output transformer. We're going to use a choke. So this is going to satisfy a lot of things. See, there's a 15 Henry choke right there. It's capacitively coupled to a line transformer. So we're going to be using a line transformer. Doggone, I didn't bring it out here, but you know what I mean. Those little small matching transformers that you can't have any DC flowing through it. See, we're not going to have any DC, so we're not going to be saturating the core. This is, I uh, model this as 5 Henry's to 8 milli Henry's, which is a uh, impedance ratio of 625 to 1 or a turns ratio of 25 to 1. So that's 5K to 8 ohms. That's what I modeled through a 10 microfarad to this choke right here. Now I got a lot of chokes, but I'm, I'm, re I'm really rethinking a lot of this. Look here, here's the choke I'm thinking about using. I got two of these guys, 15 Henry's at 120 milliamps big triad, the military surplus stuff. I got so much of this. Look at that. I don't, yeah, it has been soldered too. I think the other one's never even been soldered too. Yeah, it has. Anyway, so you see where I'm coming. I'm, I'm missing a part here. I'm missing that little um, uh, line transformer. I don't have it with me at the moment. 6SN7 driving it. I'm going to use an older chassis because I think this is just going to be an experimental amp unless I love the sound of it then I'll build a stereo version of it because I got two of them. But now I've got to thinking, what if, what if, and I'm doing this to, you know, uh, output transformers are very hard to come by, right? But what if we put two chokes here and <clears throat> We put two tubes. We put two 300 Bs. Yeah, 300 Bs is what I'm going to be using. And we put uh, two of these 
See, of course, it won't be an SET anymore. Then it'll be push-pull. You know, we put the centers together. I mean, who says that the, the magnetic coupling between uh, the, the two halves of the output transformer have to be uh, magnetically coupled? I don't think they do. Well, you know what this would do? This would actually open up a, 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 another world of building push-pull amplifiers. If you can just, chokes are a whole lot easier and a whole lot cheaper to come by than, than transformers. I mean, we'd have to do some real research on it and, and see what the uh, impedance is going to be, what the load impedance is going to be. And we're still going to have to capacitively couple this to our matching transformer. Just a thought. But anyway, Let's just let's go back to the original one to an SET. I think I'll put it right there. Whatever. Like I say, I'm just kind of. I'll have to have another choke underneath it for the power supply. I'll I'll do it right. And then, after all that's said and done, we still have one more thing to experiment with. Look at this guy right here. What about if we use a choke like this? This is a swinging choke. 25 Henry's to 5 Henry's at 350 milliamps. 5 kilovolt insulation, we don't need that. But that, what about using that for the output choke? Anyway, I'm showing you this now and this is pretty much all I'm gonna show because I'm looking for thoughts on it. I'm looking for experience. I'm looking for what you guys know or uh, have seen, have read, have built. Um, I have uh, modeled this thing, th th this LT Spice model. I've modeled it with and without feedback. I thought about putting a, uh, a feedback loop in here and um, making it adjustable so you can have no feedback or you can have as much feedback as I design into it, maybe 15, 16 dB. I think, it's, I think it's time to do some experimenting with uh, SE amplifiers, SETs, single-end triode amplifiers. It'll be all triode, 6SN7 driver, 300B, loaded into a choke. And I think the choke is the most exciting part about it because, like I say, if it works really good, then it, it would open up a, a much easier way for everybody to build amplifiers because Again, chokes are fairly inexpensive. 15 Henry chokes might be a little harder to come by. Even I think 10 would probably be enough. When you think about it, a, a standard, high-quality uh, push-pull, audiophile quality output transformer is 20 Henrys from plate to plate. Now, what that consists of is it consists of two... Uh, chokes, so to speak, in series wound on the same core. So, you know, when you series inductors, you add them. So you've got five Henry's on one side and five Henry's on the other. And then you've got a magnetically coupled, which doubles that. So that's what makes it 20 Henry's. I didn't say that exactly the way I wanted to say it, but the point is, is in a 20 Henry output transformer, when the primary is 20 Henry's plate to plate, it's only five Henry's plate to center tap. And center tap is where the signal is developed across. The signal is not developed from plate to plate. It's developed from plate to the center tap. Because you know off the center tap you always have that big capacitor from the power supply. That's where the AC component goes to ground. I guess I'll stick with the SET here and not go to the push-pull, but I just thought I'd throw that out there for, uh, for some thought since I have a pair of them. A pair of these uh, chokes and I actually, <laughs> oh my god, I, I even have a pair of these. Now, I'm also not trying to build a 200 pound 10 watt amplifier. I'm doing it mostly for experimenting, but uh, you know, we might come up with something nice here. So, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate your comments and, uh, and discussions on this. I'll start on it in a few days, but it'll take me a few days and maybe within that time, uh, if you all have some ideas and some thoughts and suggestions and what have you, then uh, you can improve it because the discussions and always improve. I always learn something from you guys as much as you ever learned from me. So thanks again for watching and stay safe.